Whew, good morning. Just kind of bringing you into what it's like to own an archery shop in small town, West Texas. We are at the current archery shop as we're building the new one and I am digging in the truck to get my keys. Gonna walk around the backside, get some packages so that we can get some items shipped out today. We got Swarovski and all kinds of optics that we ship out weekly. We do a couple hundred packages a week and so I use my wife's Amazon shipments to boxes to help help us recycle the cardboard plus there's so many different sizes it helps really good so got those now so we're headed into the shop now it is cold I think it's about 16 degrees right now gonna get everything packaged up let y'all know how we start our day owning an archery shop it's it's the funnest job in the world. It's not the most glamorous, but it is fun. We got a hitter lot, make sure all our heaters are going. Cade likes to turn all the heaters to 60. And with us being this big of a building, we've got to get it really, really hot in here. It just doesn't work. So, whew. Really cold. So start off my day coming into the shop. Obviously it's early in the morning before anybody's gonna come in and uh, see, and I look at the walls and start looking at gaps and spacings in them um, to see what we need to, to get ordered without looking at the inventory sheet. I just, it gives me a way to look at where we have gaps. So I know we need some more Hoyt quivers. Um, Excel's doing pretty good, black gold, solid on the wall. That's Matthew's stabilizer and stuff. You know, that, that's what I look at. And then I come in and real fast, I know we're good on arrows. That is one thing that you cannot, we can't run out of. Well, we, we make sure that we always have our Easton and gold tip arrows in stock. So I look at all that, make sure we're doing good. And then I look at the bow wall and you'll notice that we have a lot of open spacing, but we're, we've already ordered bows. So I know that we're okay, we're waiting. We know that we got fully stocked with our Matthews. Um, which is our best seller. We sell 10 to one Matthews um, nonstop, which we are a top 100 dealer. And I, I'm proud of that and we've worked hard to get there. But part of that comes with having every color that you need of your VXRs and everything else in stock. Obviously we sell a lot of Hoyts too. We've got a lot of Hoyts on the wall and that's what I'll look. I, I always stock more Matthews than I do anything just because the demand is so high. But we've also got the new um, PSEs in stock. And as we judge how you all like that bow is where we do, where we watch inventory on them, but they're leaving really fast. And then we always keep our youth bows in stock because we have an awesome youth program. Our kids are allowed to come in here on Tuesday afternoons and shoot for free. It's not a league, it's nothing like that. It's just support for them. We wanna help grow the sport. And if we allow them to come in for free, it's, it's great for the parents. The parents don't have to stress about paying for something. And then we also have a youth league that's different. It's about $10, still cheap, but it gets our kids shooting. Um, then we also have our used bows and you'll see right here. I know I've got a package to ship. Kate's got it all ready to go. And whoever comes in first means that they got to start getting stuff packaged up. I know we've got about 30 or 40 packages. I've got to get to the mail today. So I'm about to cut this off and start shipping. And the second phase, I'll talk to you about what else we do the rest of the day. Another thing that I always look at, I always make sure that we have strings in stock because when we have strings in stock, it means that you, the customer, don't have to wait to get a custom string set put on your bow. Or when we're doing all our mail-in tunes, I've got something in stock and I'll tell the customer like, hey, I've got an all flow green gas if that's what you want us to run. And it saves two or three days up or up to a week in the busy time of having to wait on that stuff. So luckily we've got good, good people there. So now I'll come back around and I'll go into the workroom Knowing I've got that package to ship and I see that our shop phone is sitting here. I need to make sure that it's all the messages get returned on it. So more lights. I always like looking. This is this is kind of our welcome, our welcome fridge into the shop. It's got all of the brands that we carry on it. And there's a long story behind this. When we started the archery shop, buying a fridge for uh, all of the things that we like to eat and drink was expensive it was like oh snap we cannot we cannot afford to go to home depot or lowe's or buy that and i had a guy with my real job that just said hey i've got an old fridge 
if you'll take it, I'll give it to you. Bring it on. So this is that fridge. They said it didn't work, nothing. It works great for us. It's got some funky stuff going on the inside. Um, ignore my cookie dealer cookies right here. Uh, but it's just got some some food in it so that Cade and Brody and guys at the shoots can, can eat up. Oh, let's see this. So the only thing is, is it gets pretty dirty. We keep a little bit of food in there. And Cade set these... Just so you know, like when I walk in, there's certain things that Kate does. Like he sets these here so I know, he wants to know like, hey, what do I do with these? Um, and we get going from there. These arrows, when they're set there, it means that they're ready. We've got a few dozen sitting here. That means that I've got to package them up this morning because I'm the one here first. Then we come back into the workroom, which in the new shop is one thing we're so excited about because it's three times the size and everything. We have three bow presses from Last Chance Archery. We have multiple arrow saws and it'll have an area of just work and not the bows that we have in so during the busy season you can see upward of 50 to 60 bows in here and that does not include in include mail-in bows so every time i walk in here i know i've got to take inventory on what's done and i'll come back over to the computer in the workroom and we look up and see okay that customer if they've been called is their bow ready if their bow's not ready and we updated them to let them know how their bow is coming along. So we've got a obsession right here. It needs new cams and I've been waiting forever. So we try to at least call the guy, the customer and say, hey man, we're waiting on, we're waiting on your stuff for your bow. We're still waiting. And that's pretty much how that part goes. So that's what it's like to own an archery shop. It's constant, just where are we at? Where are we at on this bow? Where are we at on that bow? And working as hard as we can to keep all of you happy. <clears throat> now walk down the range. That's my routine. Obviously that's gonna take an hour at least to get all that done, um, ship things. And I know I've got cases in stock from SKB, just from ATA, no worried there, not worried there. And then we've got more over here. So that's that process. I see that kato has got a bow in the Hooter Shooter, which means that I've got to finish it. I know he's got some products that he's taking images of for our online store. And so it looks like he's got a pretty sick prime set up in here. He's been paper tuning. And I think that's probably about done, but let's look at that bad boy. Whoever's bow that is, it's sweet. And so you can see we've got that set up. We run two hooter shooters. We keep them that busy with all you guys mailing in your bows. It's really, really the only way that we can tune them and match what you need. Because if I shoot it by hand, I don't think it's um, as perfect as I can get it from the hooter shooter. And then once I see pictures of you drawing, uh, drawing back the bow and shooting, I'm able to adjust a hooter shooter to, to pretty much mimic your grip. That's day one, the morning time of owning a bow shop. We'll uh, catch you up on all that once we have all of our customers coming in and you can kind of see how that flow goes or how a shoot goes. Day one of owning a bow shop.